Hey guys, Mr. Popsit here. Make sure to check out Mr. Popsit Live. It's my brand new channel and it has all the non-procedure videos and it's the place I answer all the questions and you can come and interact with me. Make sure to check it out. It's free and it helps me keep this channel, Mr. Popsit, free as well. Thanks for popping by. Okay guys, Mr. Popsit here. We have a common occurrence, which is blackheads up in the ears. And you can see there dry skin and oil mixed together and makes these little carrots and plugs. And we have some also, you can bring the lip down again like you did before. You can see we have little black heads here right along the lip line, which is pretty common. These are fairly easy. They can be a little tender, but we, once we just open and uh, that little pore right at the opening there, and a little bit of pressure and they pop right out. So let me come on the other side here. And you can see here also we have several black heads down in there and we even have the top shelf there. So up around the corner here, you can see right there, a couple little black heads in there. So we have a nice cup extractor that works really well for these. And we'll probably use um, either a finger squeeze on the lip or we can also do the cotton tip applicators. So we're gonna get her all prepped and ready and be back in just a minute. All right guys, Mr. Pops it here. She's all prepped and ready and we're gonna do a number of different squeezes. We're gonna start on the nose here little finger squeeze just on the bridge there and it's always tough on the bridge because it's right over cartilage but you can see we get those out little plug we'll come over here little squeeze very good another one here Let me know if I'm pushing too hard, okay? Mm. Looks great. And I always do a little finger squeeze after just to check. Good. Not much in there at all. So that looks good. Might be a little one right there, too. Almost. Open that pour a little more. That one was kind of deep. Very good. Let's see how those roll out. Little yellow at the surface and then whiter at the bottom because that's where it oxidizes there towards the surface. Now for the lips. These can be a little tricky. We go nice and slow. You can see where we've opened the pores. And we're just going to come from the side here and lift up from the bottom. It's okay there, not blurry. Mm -mm. There we go, just little stringers here. Very good. She is tough. <laughs> there we go. They almost look like little mushrooms sometimes growing in the forest. <laughs> you okay? Mm -hmm. Good. Let me just wipe that off. It'll look a lot smoother when we're done. Just move right across, left to right, right to left, I should say. I always come back and check, just to check the bottom of those pores. A little solid pressure. You can see we're not we're not squeezing too hard either. Since we open the pore, they pop out fairly easily. Bring the lip down again like you were. There we go. There's one right there. Couple small ones, here they come. Little buddies of that big one. <laughs> Very good. 
the already feels lighter, I bet. <laughs> I'm doing a little finger squeeze. There was one right there. I can see a little plug. Just to make sure the bottom is all the way. A little bit left and there's a little bit left on that one. So we pull the skin, get to the side. That is very, very tender in the filtrum there. And look how much was at the bottom of that. Got it. Persistence pays off. Actually, I don't think we had got that one yet. We got all the ones around it. But you can see when you pull the skin now, you just see the little pore where we poked, but you don't see that white stuff inside. So that is great. Turn a little bit this way. Good size one here. Gonna roll that. Perfect. That one looked a little older, it was a little drier. Good. Little teeny tiny ones down here. Oh, bigger than we thought. There we go. Perfect. I'm going to finger squeeze the base of that just to make sure. Good. Okay. Make sure to breathe. You doing okay? <laughs> <laughs> Good. She's very tough. <laughs> Now I can see, you can see right there, she did have one that was kind of inflamed. Looks like it probably popped a little and now is peeling, but I do see a pore right there. So this was likely an inflammatory one. We may have a little bit of pus in this one, we'll see. Yeah, just a little, kind of juicy. Not as dry as the others, but there was a little plug right there with a little tiny hair. That one likely was resolving on its own, but you can see those little plugs. So that's good to get that out so it doesn't reform. Now we pull that skin and you can see no little bumps there. Just a little tiny poke spots and that's it. So that looks great. Okay, with these type here, I do have a cup extractor. These loop extractors can work pretty well also. I'm gonna try the edge with this loop right here. And these are the ones that can be pretty sensitive with pressure. So feel free to say, ooh, that's a little hard. Don't okay. worry. Huh? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Because we're gonna be pressing like straight down onto cartilage, which can be very tough. There we go. And they're right beside each other. So you can see it empty into the cup here. So that cup we can scoop the contents as they come out and you can see quite a bit there already. You can see how big the blackheads are and they're still in there, that's just the top of them. With pressure, we'll kind of wiggle out a little. There we go. Wrong one there, sorry. Here it comes. Very good. That's a lot. It's always good to get that out. A big one right there in the middle. Here it comes. Look at that. Wow. That was large. You can see. Right beside it, I think there's a little left. Okay. All four of those right in a row. Quite a bit. Just dry keratin. Blackheads there. That's good. Got hair almost. <laughs> Hanging in there. We're almost there. <laughs> so we kind of look here, look around the corner. 
those are empty pores. Hopefully in time, those will start to uh, kind of tighten up a little bit. Some people do a little benzoyl peroxide or salicylic acid gel. It can tighten those pores a little. That's a really sensitive area for these little ones. We'll come back to those. But we can see up here. Now that is a big one. Top shelf here is always the hardest because it's pretty sensitive and it's a tough angle, but we can see there. Here it comes. She's not even flinching. She's super tough. There it is. Big cup removal there. See, it's actually pretty long to get that one. So it's good to check and see how much you got out so you can tell, you know, how deep the pour is, what you saw at the top. Make sure you got it. And that's probably 90% of that one, I would say. Yeah. I don't see much left over on that. I just have a couple. I'm just going to have to press like this. You won't be able to see them. Having something to press against is helpful. You okay? Mm -hmm. Good. I'm going to try to get the loop up there. This is where the loop can be, become effective here. When it's up and around the corner, you can kind of scrape a little bit when you get that. These are ones that are kind of impossible to see because they're up and to the left. If I scrape and come across, we get those. You can see how big those are. Got them. Sorry you couldn't see them. <laughs> Might be one more there. I'm putting back pressure so not to put too much on our inner cartilage there. We're getting them quite a bit. It looks good. See one more. There we go. Got it. So that looks great. Tough angle, but we cleared them. I just see nothing up around there. <laughs> so these little ones here, I'm gonna try and do just a little scrape. We got some there. These are just tiny. Sometimes they're so small, you don't get much out. We got a little bit there. So those are good to get out. Those will be her next ones. If not, you had two there. We got them. So that ear is clear. Let's come to the other. Okay. So we had the other ear here. There's a big black head right here in the middle. Little pressure. You can see that plug. Perfect. Oxidized on the top. Mushy white on the bottom. That's what we see. And that's good. That's pretty nice. Let me look up here. So for these smaller ones, I'll commonly do that loop extractor. And we'll kind of scrape along, it's actually pretty effective. So you can see we have a lot of little ones that can be tender to pull across them, but it's pretty effective usually. There it comes. Very good, good plug there. You can push or pull. I know this is the most tender of everything we've done. You okay? <laughs> We're almost there. These are kind of small, so that's why they take quite a bit of pressure. Good. So we're getting those there. Give her a break on that area, and we'll come up here. So you can see these are hard to see too. But there it is quite a bit from there. The top shelf's always hard to see, so just do a little scrape here. Big one just popped out there. Right there. Okay, you're doing it, sorry. <laughs> it makes your eyes water. We'll yeah. get you all set up here in a sec. We're just about done. We're getting quite a bit out. Let's just open these small ones a little bit again. Just kind of swirl that pore. The tip of a small needle breaks any keratin there. Not much left in there, but. So 
does have one going right there. I don't know if you can see that one. There we go, a little pressure, sorry. Got it. Very tender area. That part, little bone there. You don't want to push too hard when you get into this loop here. I kind of push from the back sometimes and see if we can get it, but. There we go. A couple small ones. Got it. That was the last of those little ones right there. Okay, so you see, because we poke them, they bleed a little bit, but it's not too bad. Another small one. And I think that's probably about enough poking for today. There's one last one I wanted to get. That's it. Right there. Okay. She did great. There's one last pressure point. Not going to be able to see that one, but yeah, there it is. Got that too. So we got quite a bit out. It's in the loop there. So that's all of her big ones. Most of the small ones are real small ones. You got to push so hard. You know, you don't want to break the skin or anything like that. And the small ones will be her next big ones there if you don't get them. She got one blackhead there. It didn't want to come out. Got it. Okay. Perfect. Did so well. <laughs> Bring us back here. Okay. That's every blackhead I could see on her here. I know she had maybe a small one down there. Okay. Last ones, I promise. <laughs> Just a little bit of kind of carrot in there. Dead skin and oils there. Perfect. Do a little finger squeeze to get that last bit. There's a little tiny hair in there, so we got that. And over here. These are just little tiny pimples there. Okay. Yeah, those are pretty small, drying up. Okay. Don't see any others worth chasing down here. So that's great. You can come up here. Thanks to her for sharing. Uh, she's going to feel a lot lighter. Her eyes are watering a little. Those were very sensitive areas. She didn't even say a word or barely move. So that was impressive. And thanks to her for sharing a lot because that's cool to share to show people what can be done and how to do them correctly. Because if you do those wrong in the ear, you can actually cause a big cyst to form, cause inflammation and can be pretty painful. So thanks for popping by.